morning. How's everybody? Thank you, Commissioner Warren and your staff for all you've done today. This is a beautiful setup. I'd like to send a shout out too to our new president, Pam. Also, our new president, who, Quinn Buckner, who is the president of our board of trustees, and as well as Scott Dawson, who made the trip to New York to bring me back home. So it's good to be back. Uh, just a little brief introduction to our team. Uh, we've had an opportunity for the last three months to work together. I kind of got a jump on probably to all the colleges that are that are out there, Division I schools, because we had an opportunity to go to the Bahamas. And that trip was great for me because, again, it gave me an opportunity to put some things in on both sides of the ball, and it gave our team an opportunity to get to the Bahamas and bond. You know, we got a, a number of new guys on our ball club, uh, and it gave them an opportunity to bond with some of the old guys that were here in the past years. So, with that being said, it's good to be back in Bloomington. It's good to be back here in Indianapolis, where I was born, where I was born and raised, and played all my my high school basketball here in the city. Um, it's good to be back. So I'll open up the floor for any questions. Back row. Hey, good morning, Coach. Mike with one of the move with Sports Cows. Uh, my question to you is, uh, being, uh, you know, coming from the NBA and uh, coaching and playing before that in some pretty tough markets, um, do you think that gives you um, an extra uh, extra uh, way to get these guys the mentality of the NIL, the business management, uh, when they uh, push for the next level of the NBA, um, so they don't see that as a distraction while they're trying to play a good college season? I think it helps a little bit, but again, um, I'm in the Big Ten now, and there's an elite group of coaches uh, that have done it. I'm doing this. Um, so, I don't know if it gives me an advantage or not. Uh, it's, I've spent all my life in the NBA, and a lot of the players that you recruit are trying to get to the next level. And now with the, the NIL and, and the portal, things change now, I think, in the college game of basketball. And uh, I think we, as a university, we got to be on top of that in terms of how we navigate our players through this um, but there's a lot of work that's got to be done again i don't know if i have an advantage or not i know i'm competing with a lot of great college coaches and a lot of great players that play the game of basketball in college second row um ian Patton from the badger Hill. um i'm just wondering um with uh, Trace Jackson Davis obviously being one of the uh, best players in the Big Ten this year. Um, what role do you see some of your other guys playing, um, especially some talented freshmen you had last year? Well, again, I, when I took this team and started watching a lot of tape, film on the team, you know, we have some holes to fill. I thought we went out like bringing Xavier Johnson in and Miller and bringing Tamar Bates over, uh, and Big Mike. Um, I thought we filled some of those holes, but I'm looking at our roster where everybody's got to, they got to step up. You know, it's just not the four guys we brought in or the guys that, that I uh, inherit. Um, everybody's got to play a role, uh, and I've always felt that way as a coach. Um, we just can't depend on Trace to carry the load. Uh, so I'm trying to instill in all of these players that, you know, they have a chance to play and, and make a difference on our ball club. That's the only way I think we can win at a high level. In the front row. Mike Tom, Bruce Sports Illustrated, Indiana. Hi, We've uh, talked a lot during the summer about your sort of quick indoctrination to learning all about your players and such, but can you talk a little bit about uh, that same sort of uh, getting to know your uh, assistant coaches and such and how all that's been working for you uh, so far this summer and fall? 
Well, when I took the job, you know, it was on the fly. You know, so I had to put a staff in place, which I thought, you know, the, the guys that we brought in, you know, they know the college game, uh, and they're good basketball coaches. Uh, and they've helped me kind of navigate through the recruiting process, uh, the things that I can do and can't do. Um, and then just the college game in general, from a basketball standpoint, um, it is a little different than the pros. Uh, you know, in the pros, you know, we got, we got a lot of guys that can make the three ball. And, you know, our team, you know, we're trying to get to that point. That's why we went and picked up Xavier and Miller, who both can, can make the long ball. Uh, and hoping that Jamar Bates, along with Galloway, and the guys that I inherit, will improve this year in terms of shooting it. Um, but I'm happy with my staff because, again, without them, I would be lost uh, being new at this. Uh, but we got a lot of work and a long way to go. Second row to my left. Hey, Mike, Dustin DePierre at Bloomington Herald Times uh, over here on your left. Um, how have you seen Rob Fennessey evolve since you've had him? How, how is he a different player? What are things he does differently now than what you saw from him on film and what you saw from him when you got started? Well, again, I try to evaluate players based on them dealing with me now. And I can't look back in the past and, and, and look at the things Rob has, has done and ha hasn't done. Um, for me, He's been a treat. I think he's been one of the most bright spots, you know, over the last three months in terms of running our ball club and and, and getting things done on both sides of the floor. My, my problem with Rob is I just got to get him to shoot more. I'm telling him it's okay to shoot the basketball. And I don't know if he's had coaches tell him that in the past, but I'm telling him he can, it's okay to do that. But he's been a nice treat to our team in terms of his growth and I'm going to need him, his leadership as we move forward this season. We have time for one last question in the third row. Mike DeCourcy, uh, Mike, uh, Mike DeCourcy from Sporting News. Xavier Johnson played a lot of college basketball but not on successful teams. Is there something that you guys have to go through to, to make winning a habit with a player like that who's obviously talented but hasn't had success? Well, again, we got to do that with all our players. Um, we all knew uh, they're trying to get to, to know Coach Woodson, and and I'm trying to figure them out as individual players, as and the things that they can do to help us from a team standpoint. And uh, Xavier's been great because he changes the game with his speed. He can make shots. Um, he can get in the paint and create. I'm just trying to get him to be a better point guard uh, and, and involve his teammates in terms of running our offense. And, and there's no doubt he's got to be good on, de on the defensive end because I think that's where you know, we'll be a better team if, if our team is defending on a high level that put us in position to win ball games. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning, Coach. Good luck this season. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.